Hey there, Ganesh here. So imagine this. A government official is being approached by a company to secure a lucrative deal. But here's the catch. The company wants to give out a bribe to the official to secure the deal. Now, here's the question. Should the government official reject the bribe to uphold his or her ethical obligation or should he or she accept the bribe for personal gain? The answer might be obvious, but let's take a look through the lens of some ethical theories and frameworks along with some tests. So now let's deep dive into this scenario. We have two main parties involved in this scenario, one being our government official and the other the company that is giving the bribe. So let's call this company company X. So there's only two main outcomes. One, the government official accepting the bribe and granting the deal. Or two, the government official rejecting the bribe and company X loses its deal. All right, now let's put this scenario to the test. Our first test will be the harm test, which uses the utilitarianism theory, which was championed by thinkers like Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill, which maximizes happiness and minimizes pain. Alright, so for our government official, if he or she accepts the bribe, his name or her name will be definitely tarnished along with the name of the government. This can make the people not support the government and outright reject them. And if or he or she rejects the bribe, no name will be tarnished and the people will continue to support the government. Next up, through the eyes of the law, if he or she accepts the bribe and gets caught by the law, they can land themselves in jail or pay a hefty fine more than the bribe itself. And if not, they will walk free without paying any consequences and be losing the bribe along the way. Alright, now let's take a look from company access perspective. So if the government official accepts the bribe and grants the deal, the company can gain a lot of profits through the deal. If not, there are no profits. If the government official rejects the bribe along with no profits gaining but, but they can manage to uphold their ethical standings and they can manage to find better deals in a more ethical manner. And if get caught, the company along with paying a hefty fine and chances of going to jail, they can also lose the deal. Hi guys, Jolene here, and next we will have deontology, Kant's authentic theory known as deontology, emphasize the importance of duty and moral principles. In this scenario, the government official must consider whether accepting the bribe aligns with universal moral laws. You see, uh, Kant would argue that accepting a bribe is inherently unauthentical, as it contradicts the category imperative, the idea that one should act only according to principles that could be universally applied. The same can be said if we use the faith test and the professional test. Religiously speaking, in Islam, it is considered sin and not just any act. And for Christians, the Bible strongly condemns the evil practice of bribery. Hi, this is C. Uh, in a professional context, Kent argues that corruption is considered an immoral or morally wrong act as it directly contradicts the supreme moral principle and the natural sense of duty that accompanies it. In Malaysia, if a government official is caught, the penalties under the penalty code include imprisonment for up to three years, a fine, or both under Section 161. 
Regarding Company Acts under Section 17A, the penalties include a fine no less than ten times the value of the gratification or one million ringgit, whichever is higher, or imprisonment for up to twenty years, or both. This is Suvi. Luckily, it's a public safety test. Personally, I would not like to see myself as the same can be applied to other people in the newspaper or in social media being caught for bribery. A real-life example would be the sixth Prime Minister of Malaysia. He is currently being charged for cooperation over his involvement in the scandal at one Malaysia development program. A state fund said Najib wanted to drive new development in the country. The fund's business is under investigation in at least six countries over allegations that billions of donors were signed off to buy luxury property, designer jewelry, and art to fund the Hollywood movie Wolf of Wall Street. So. Let me ask you again: Should the government official accept or refuse the bribe? Well, according to the harm test, it was clear that rejecting the bribe caused the most number of positive consequences. Secondly, the faith test also states that major religions prohibit the idea of bribery. The same thing can be said for the professional test. This time, adding a hefty fine and longer jail time. Lastly, the publicity test further solidifies the idea that bribery is a wrong and shameful act. Well, the final verdict is: No, the government official should not accept the bribe and should not grant the deal for Company X. While scenarios like this may seem to have an obvious answer. It is good to see through some ethical frameworks and tests, such as the ones that we mentioned before, to come up with a more definite answer. Well, that's all from me, folks. Ganesh signing off. Thank you, and have a nice day.